Welcome back. The Ruger Mini-14 is one of the most reliable and consistent firearms ever designed, but there is one particular problem that a viewer recently inquired about, and that was with regard to his bolt lock sticking to the rear and causing his bolt to be jammed in place. So let's step over to the bench and see what causes that and fix it. Okay, for the sake of brevity, I've already removed the stock and taken the spring off. Now, simply slide your cover to the bolt lock straight down. You might have to use a screwdriver to tap that down, but most of the time it'll just slide right off. And just gently depress, not all the way, but just gently depress the plunger and remove your bolt lock. This is where things get fouled up. First of all, take your bolt plunger out of the gun and inspect the spring to make sure that the spring is functioning correctly, make sure it's not bent. It should be, it should be firmly connected to the small diameter of the plunger and make sure you have no debris or anything stuck in this notch right here on the, on the plunger. Now take a uh, small drill bit and with the shank end of the drill bit slide it down into this into this plunger hole and make sure that it passes freely through that there's no debris in there one of the things that can occur especially for those who have uh, tried to uh, glass bed their stock is glass bedding compound can get up inside this hole right here that's a two diameter hole that passes all the way through make sure that there's there's no debris inside that hole and make sure. fixing the issue is simply a matter of making sure that your bolt lock plunger that this that this notch right here must face directly to the rear of the gun in other words when that notch engages this leg they have to interact so make sure that your notch faces to the rear and then when you depress that plunger that should actuate the lock very freely and make sure it stays connected as you put your cover back in place when that's done and your bolt is to the rear pressing on that plunger should freely move that lock if you can okay let's perform a function test put the gun back together insert an empty magazine slide your bolt handle to the rear and if you've got a good magazine in there with the follower interacting with that lock that should hold that bolt to the rear to release that to release that lock to the that's locked to the rear simply remove your magazine and grab your handle and let her go you can check the function of that plunger by pushing down on the plunger you should be able to see that bolt wiggling slide the bolt to the rear as you hold the plunger down and that will catch it in place until you release it again that's all there is to it so there you have it and one more thing, never ever grease or oil that lock. If you live in cold climates or dusty climates, you're going to cause that to freeze up. Uh, dust, dust and debris can get in there, carbon can get into that plunger and cause that to, to jam up. But never ever grease or oil it. There's nothing there to uh, lubricate. So that's all there is to it. And again, if you want to, if you have a magazine, an empty magazine in, and you want to drop the bolt just simply put your thumb in push the uh, follower down and let her go and don't get an m1 thumb while you're doing that take care and to all of you who have been my faithful patreon patrons thank you for your support it helps me it helps me produce this channel thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell god bless